How's it going guys? It's David here from Bumblebuff.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use NFC and Android Beam on your ice cream sandwich and above device with NFC capabilities. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually enable NFC and Android Beam in your settings. So go over to your settings and from this main tab go over to more. And under more you want to make sure that NFC is actually checked and also that Android Beam uh, the little on switch is flipped to on. So make sure it doesn't look like this. Make sure it's actually to the on position and uh, do this on both devices. So make sure it's checked and on on both devices. And once you've done that, you're ready to actually beam something over. So I'll go ahead and zoom out and uh, bring in my other Galaxy Nexus. So here it is. Let me uh, unlock it really quick. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate how NFC works or Android Beam works. So let's say I wanted to send over an app. For example, I have Skyfire right here. Let's say it's a browser I enjoy and my friend's Galaxy Nexus doesn't have it. So if I wanted to send it over to him, I could just put both devices back to back like that. You can see it says touch to beam. All I gotta do is touch it like that. You get that little animation that gives you the impression that something was sent over. And uh, indeed it was. You can see I was taken to the Android market so I could actually download Skyfire right onto my phone. So that's one way in which it works. You could also send over a contact. So let's say I wanted to send over um, a contact right here over to uh, my friend's phone. I could just put the phones back to back, press the beam button, and you can see now that this phone is has a gray screen, gives me an option to choose which account I want to uh, sync the uh, contact to. If I choose it, there you go, and now you can see that the contact is now added to uh, this next phone. So it's pretty cool functionality. Now one thing that's actually disappointing about it is the uh, inability to actually beam over pictures. For example, I have this picture of this mountain with snow on it. Say I wanted to send it to my friend or beam it to my friend, put my devices back to back, it makes that little noise, but I don't get any option to actually beam it over. So that's really disappointing. Hopefully um, Google addresses this in a future update. I know there's a few apps that let you actually take advantage of that. So you could definitely download a third party app to do it, but I would just like to see uh, it built into the OS outright. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is Dave from PhoneBlip.com. Thank you for watching it, and don't forget to visit PhoneBlip.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.